Justin Trudeau ignores Canada for the UN. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Well, Parliament has resumed, but our Prime Minister nowhere to be seen. No, he's not in question period. He's not answering questions from the opposition, those lowly elected officials here in Canada. No, he's at the UN. Now, he speaks there on Tuesday. Parliament resumed on Monday. He easily could have flown down to New York. It's an hour and a half flight, perhaps, down there and arrive just in time, as many world leaders do. But to Justin Trudeau, the United Nations is far more important than the simple parliament here in Canada. Sure, he talks about how Canada is a great nation and the world looks up to us, and yet, at every turn, he wants to hand over sovereignty of Canadian power to the UN. He lusts after power at the UN body in the way that he doesn't here in Canada. He worships the organization despite all of its flaws. You can see it in the way that he acts, the fact that he's ignoring the opening of his own parliamentary session, the pushing of his own agenda to be down at the UN, to rub shoulders with some of the world's dignitaries and many of the dictators and tyrants that are given his equal standing at this body as he is, or Barack Obama is. But to Justin Trudeau, the UN is far and above superior to the simple parliamentary democracy we have here. You can see it in the way he talks about signing on to the UN Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People to further expand its implementation, his desire to sign on to the UN Arms Trade Treaty, which will hand over effective control of Canadian gun laws to the UN. I mean, by signing on to it, by ratifying it, we will make this document part of our national laws. But here's the thing, that law can then be changed by a vote at the UN, a vote that Canada could vote against would change our domestic laws. But they're not bothered by that, not in the least, nor are they bothered by the fact that they just want to be back at the UN for peacekeeping, even though there's no peace to keep, even though they don't know where our troops will be going or where the hundreds of millions that we're promising to give to the UN peacekeeping operations will be spent or whether they'll be effective. It's all about getting that seat back at the UN Security Council, the same Security Council that has blocked any real resolution in Syria, any real help for that embattled region since before ISIS really rose to the forefront of it, back when it was just the Assad regime fighting rebels and there might have still been some good guys to help in there. Now, the UN Security Council, that's the real source of power, the real golden chalice for Justin Trudeau, and he lusts after it. It's sickening to see we should be focused on making our country great here at home instead of turning around to try and and lust for power at a foreign body that really, really doesn't live up to its promise, its potential. Justin Trudeau, though, is a globalist of the highest caliber. This is a man who doesn't believe in the nation state anymore. He sees Canada as a post-nation state and says there isn't really any Canadian identity. So none of this should be surprising, except I'm bet- betting that to many Canadians it will be. Don't worry, you won't be hearing about this in other media outlets. Other people won't be commenting on it. Most of the media are still so enthralled with the UN, so just overjoyed at the fact that Trudeau is down there that they won't bother reporting on the warts. They never do. They still see the world in that black and white montage of of Lester Pearson inventing peacekeeping, as they like to say, and Canada being one of the leaders in it back when we would stroll the green line in Cyprus. They don't look at what's changed in the world. They don't look at how the UN has changed. They don't look at the real politics that go on behind the scene. They just bask in the glory the same way that Trudeau does without ever thinking. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.